Well, welcome everybody to week four of our December online program for the Alumni of the Sunshine Coast Health Center here in Powell River, BC. And this month we've just uh, been reminding you of some uh, tools you have in your recovery toolkit. So this week, uh, I'm going to talk about this idea of accepting reality. It's one of my mentor's big points. He says, the first step in everything is to accept reality no matter what. No matter how bleak it may be or anything else, you have to accept reality. If you don't accept reality, nothing else is going to matter. And part of the things of reality, and I wrote this on the online program if you're interested in the written portion, is the concept of suffering is not a bad thing. What's bad about suffering is if it is unnecessary. But suffering is just normal to human nature. If you live, you will suffer. It's just the way reality operates. So all of those television advertisements that you hear, oh, you don't have to suffer, here's a pill, or go, I don't know, go join an exercise club or something. And if you do all this, you'll eliminate suffering. They're all nonsense, because it's absolutely impossible to eliminate suffering in life. But again, it's not such a bad thing. You know that uh, uh, we talk a lot uh, with the fam in the family program about the concept of that maybe it is through suffering that you will have a better relationship with your loved one. Right? Because it's one of those truisms of human nature that the only way to heaven is f to go through hell first. Right? You gotta go down before you go up. And it is this idea of suffering that may be responsible for why we uh, grow as human beings. If we didn't have challenges, if we didn't have suffering, I don't, I'm just not sure how we could ever grow as a human being. So accepting the idea of suffering, including, for example, if you get cravings and, or bad things happen to you in recovery, this, it is what it is, right? It's not a bad thing. And one of your jobs is to get creative and everything else and try to overcome it or just accept it for what it is, right? If you can't, uh, if you can't overcome it. So it's just, but everything's rooted in this idea of accepting reality. So that's a huge one for the toolkit. And so next week, what I'm going to do is I'll, uh, I'm going to give you some of the things Dr. Wong uh, has, uh, has said about uh, life. He, I actually get collect this stuff. I've met some of his students, too. They actually have Facebook uh, pages on this stuff. At any rate, he's very good about throwing out these little sayings. So just to wrap it up for December, I'll, uh, I'll give you some wisdom from my mentor, Dr. Paul Wong. So anyway, see you then.